Hi everyone, welcome back to the processes from the project management body of knowledge. This one in particular is the overview for project cost management. As you can see, project cost management, we've gone through, uh, especially in our planning process group, uh, we've planned the scope, so what we're going to deliver, uh, the schedule, so when we're going to deliver it, and now looking at those two things, we have a better idea of how much all of that is going to cost. So we're looking at estimating our costs, determining the, determining the budget, and then obviously controlling those costs so they don't go too far off track. The processes included in project cost management are planning cost management, so the process for how we're going to do our cost management activities, who's going to be involved, what, pro what processes are we going to use to estimate our costs, and then determine our budget. And then ultimately, what are we going to do to control the costs and ensure that they don't go too far off track. There are a lot of different inputs tools and techniques and outputs for this particular process group. So we've got uh, you know, a lot of project management plan as always, a lot of EEFs and OPAs that you'll see as inputs. As always, expert judgment is a really, really big one. But we've also got things like all of our estimating techniques that we've seen in schedule as well. We'll need to estimate for cost at the same time. So we've got a lot of data analysis as well. We're going to need to analyze how things are tracking and also you know, the, the information that we've gathered for our budget. And of course, we've got things like outputs for our, we've got estimates for our outputs and then the baseline documents, so our cost baseline. And when we're controlling our cost uh, project cost management, we've again got expert judgment, things like data analysis, another big, big one and then other things like our two complete performance index, our project management information system, and then all of our ch you know, change requests or cost forecasts, work performance information as outputs for that controlling that, that particular process. Key concepts for project con uh, cost management. Uh, we should consider the effect of project decisions on the subsequent recurring cost of using, maintaining and supporting the product, the service or the result. So how much is it going to cost when it goes into business as usual. So this is really, really important. It's, a, it's no point in delivering something that doesn't cost anything um, if it's going to cost a lot when it goes into business as usual. It might just not be worth the money. The project manager must also recognize that different stakeholders measure project costs in different ways. And so we have to be open to those different ways of estimating and those different ways of, uh, of creating those cost estimates. Also, the cost of an acquired item might be measured at different times. So when the acquisition decision is made or committed, or when the order is placed, or when the item is actually delivered, or when the actual cost is physically incurred, so when they've physically paid the money. There are many different accounting practices that you'll come across and usually we just stick to one and then use that as our standard method. But you have to be aware that there will be different ways of doing this and you may have to chop and change depending on the stakeholders. Trends and emerging practices that you'll see as part of project cost management, uh, it's the earned schedule and actual time uh, as part of our earned value management do make an appearance. They're still not as, uh, not as prominent really in our earned value management um, and in our trend analysis. So looking at how our project is trending or varying um, from where we, where we planned and where we actually are. But you will see that uh, earned schedule is a new item for earned value management. Tailoring considerations for project cost management include knowledge management. So does the organization have formal knowledge management um, or is it something that you, know, you just have to do on an ad hoc basis? Do you have to create something new yourself? Estimating and budgeting. Does the organization have existing formal or informal cost estimating uh, policies, procedures or guidelines? Earned value management. Does the organization use earned value management in managing projects? And you know, do you need to just use it for your particular project? Either way, in many cases, you will have to see how something you've planned is, uh, is varying to something that's actually happening, uh, especially when cost comes into play. So you will need to know if your budget is going off track uh, and that's where your earned value management will come into it. 
using agile approaches. So are we using agile methodologies? How does that impact cost estimating if we're doing more lightweight estimating techniques? And governance. And does the organization have any formal or informal audit or governance policies, procedures, and guidelines? Considerations that you'll see for agile and adaptive environments, projects with high degrees of uncertainty, so where there could be a lot of change happening in the scope or the schedule or the cost, or where the scope is not yet fully defined and it might sort of just get defined over time um, you know, in, through iterations, through an iterative process. But you might be able to use lightweight estimation methods. So maybe we can you know, use a different uh, estimation method like analogous estimating, where it's easier to do and it's faster to do and we can just get a really quick idea and we can adjust that as our iterations go on and on until our final product and our final cost baseline is created. This can generate a fast high level forecast of project labor costs which can be easily adjusted over time. Detailed estimates are reserved for short term planning. So as we have seen, we've got our features and we plan in detail our activities just before that iteration. So that's our short term planning horizons. And we can do the same for cost. So now we know that it's going to be this much and we've got a really good idea uh, of how much it's going to cost. Whereas over here, we don't have a very good idea at all. It's just a high level view. But that's the way that you might work in an agile environment. And that is the detail around project cost management as an overview for this process. Mm -hmm.